Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Holland Hospital. Neck pain can impact your entire body, so today it is time to find some relief. Dr. David Lowry from the Brain and Spine Center in Holland is here to talk with us about some of the various causes and treatments available. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much. Lots of causes of neck pain, but when you talk about a pinched nerve, that is a quality of life impacting bothersome thing. Oh yeah, a pinched nerve will really slow many people down. It can cause pain, numbness, tingling, or even weakness in the shoulder, arm, or hand. Uh, and the pain that people experience from a nerve that's pinched in the neck is really unlike other kinds of muscle or bone pain. It can be very severe. When, when you say pinched nerve, what has happened that I have a pinched nerve? Well, under most circumstances, it's either a herniated disc or sometimes called a ruptured disc, where some of the softer cartilage in the inside of the disc pooches out and presses on a nerve. Mm. Another common cause is from a bone spur related to a condition called spinal stenosis, where essentially a form of arthritis in the spine causes narrowing in a hole through which a nerve passes. So have I done something to cause either one of those circumstances? Or, or is it something that just unfortunately naturally happens to some people? Yeah, it's often just bad luck or a combination of that mm. and genetic factors. Sometimes if people are lifting a very heavy object for instance, uh, or if they experience a sports injury, they can in, uh, incur a ruptured disc. But under most circumstances, honestly, it's just bad luck and a combination of genetic factors. Uh, well, you described all the many ways that it can radiate down the arms and, and yeah. hit all the way to the hands and such. Um, can you wait it out and hope it goes away, or is that not likely to happen? Yes, and in fact, for most patients, uh, we can treat their pain without the need for any surgical intervention. Uh, but what I'm excited about now is that for those patients who don't get better without surgery, we now have a minimally invasive way to treat this problem, which allows them to get back to work about 80% of the time within four days. Mm. And that's a huge improvement up to this point when we've had to use fusion or a disc replacement for people who have heavier physical jobs, yes. construction workers, people who do a lot of material handling, they may be out of work for as long as four to eight weeks. Wow, okay, so what is this procedure? Well, this procedure is one, uh, let me first just go a little bit into what we used to have to do. This shows a spinal fusion implant mm -hmm. within the neck. Here's another spinal fusion technique where there is a plate applied to the front of the spine. Just sc literally screwed into your spine. <laughs> screwed into the spine. To, to hold it together so that pooching doesn't happen, is that? Exactly. Okay. But now we have a way where we can allow a patient to retain their natural motion. We don't have to do a fusion which takes motion. Uh, and that way is through a procedure using this device. This allows us to drill a little channel through the bone of the spine yes, and allows us to get access to where the bone spur or the disc fragment is located without having to do a fusion or a disc replacement. After we make this hole, we we'll then fill it with a little plug that dissolves and some of the patient's own bone marrow that we take while drilling the channel. So it's a short procedure. We can do it as an outpatient about half of the time. Wow. And about 80% of the time we can get people back to work in about four days. That is unbelievable. And then that you said that that, that, that filler goes away. It just heals itself. Well, our bones do that, right? I mean, they're That's right. It. So long term, there's nothing remaining behind for the patient except their own tissue. They keep their disc they keep their natural movement, and the implant that we implant uh, dissolves in about three to six months. Wow, okay, and then is there anybody who is not eligible for that treatment and may still have to do the others? Yes, absolutely, mm. and all three of these procedures achieve relief of the arm pain in about 95% of patients. Mm. So we're really able to help people who need to go on to have surgery, but I'm just excited that now for many who are eligible for this less invasive approach, uh, we can offer it. Well, it is certainly good news, and, and it is, again, it impacts your entire lifestyle mm, when you've got that does. pinch, something so small that can have that impact. All right, well, we want to let you know that Dr. Lowry will be giving a free seminar on this topic. It is next Thursday, August 11th, at Holland Hospital, and you can find more details on how to register on our website at wzzm13.com. Just click on Take 5. Thanks for being here.
Thank you. Well, she gives you the scoop on the movies your kids want to see. Up next, our box office mom is here with her reviews of two new films, The Smurfs and Cowboys and Aliens. We'll be back.